fighting out of Bishkek, Kyrgyzstan, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC flyweight champion of the world, Valentina Bulacheska. Hey everyone and welcome to today's video. We have an exciting one for you today because we are going to talk about one of the most dominant fighters in the UFC. That's right, it is none other than Valentina Shevchenko. You know the name, but you would be surprised to learn more about the life of the future Hall of Famer. So without further ado, here are 10 surprising facts about the women's number one pound for pound fighter and women's flyweight champ, Valentina Shevchenko. Number 10. Her Elite Versatility in MMA While UFC fighters are respected for their versatility in MMA, Valentina stands out as a prodigy in two different types of martial arts, kickboxing and Muay Thai. These skills are on full display whenever she steps foot in the octagon, but she also nearly has a perfect record when competing in kickboxing and Muay Thai matches. You also would be surprised to find out she is undefeated in another combat sport. And if you guessed boxing, well, you would be correct. While it is unlikely that she boxes again, she does have a 2-0 record and further highlights her skill in a variety of fighting disciplines. Valentina's strength is her kickboxing and Muay Thai. But her skill in a variety of combat sports is one of the reasons why Valentina has been a champion for so long and will likely retire as one. Number 9. Her First Martial Art Sticking to Valentina's versatility in MMA, you would think that the first one she picked up would have been kickboxing or Muay Thai, right? Well, the answer is actually Taekwondo. That is right, she first started to learn Taekwondo at the early age of just 5 years old and showed she had a natural talent for it. She would then go on to learn kickboxing and Muay Thai, and these two martial arts would go on to be the core part of her fighting style and a big reason why she has been so dominant in the UFC. Martial arts, for me, for us, it's more than um, just a sport. It's more than just uh, uh, like uh, your career. It's everything. You can see these skills on full display in her fight against Jessica I. Valentina landed as perfect of a kick as you will ever see, and it immediately ended the fight. But just be warned, you might get a headache yourself after watching it. Number 8. One of her losses was controversial. Valentina is an elite fighter and has only suffered three losses in her career. Two have come from another great and Amanda Nunez as a bantamweight which only highlights why she is the lock for UFC Hall of Fame when she decides to retire. It would be an all-time great fight if the trilogy happened at flyweight, but is unlikely to happen anytime soon. While they were competitive fights, the judges sided with Nunez via unanimous decision for the first fight and a split decision for the second fight. And still! But do you think the judges were right? You would be surprised to know that her only other loss was due to an error against Liz Carmouche in a non-UFC fight. The fight was called off due to a cut that she had suffered, but the cut was a result of an illegal hit. Valentina and Carmouche did have a rematch, and unsurprisingly, Valentina got the last word. Having only suffered three losses is impressive, but it is hard to imagine Valentina losing again now that she has moved to the flyweight division where she looks like she is in a league of her own. Number 7. How She Got Her Nickname Most UFC fighters have nicknames, but there are some that are better than others. Think about The Notorious or Bones Jones. You hear that in the ring and know that it is going to be a big night. We have also had some nicknames that make us laugh more than anything, some classics being Twinkle Toes and The French Tickler. However, Valentina falls into the former category, and when you hear Valentina Bullet Shevchenko, you know you are in for a treat. Valentina got her nickname Bullet at a young age, and you can see why. There are few who are quicker or more explosive than Valentina, and it is a very fitting nickname for this superstar. But what might surprise you even more is the next surprising fact about Valentina. Number 6. Fighting Runs in the Family While Valentina is an elite UFC fighter, she also has a sister, Antonia Shevchenko, who competes in the UFC. There have been other siblings that have fought in the UFC together, but you would be surprised to find out that they have accomplished something that no other sisters have ever done. 
That is, they were on the same card at UFC 255. The cherry on top was that Valentina won her fight by decision against Jennifer Maya, and Antonio won her fight against Ariane Lipsky by TKO. It is still impressive that Valentina's fight went to a decision because 99% of us would be celebrating if we lasted 30 seconds in the octagon against Bullet. It isn't only Valentina's sister that has a background in MMA. Her mother Elena is currently the president of Kyrgyzstan's National Muay Thai Association and was a former champion during her fighting career. While Valentina is the most accomplished of the three, you can begin to see the influences must have had on her at an early age and one of the reasons why she became such a successful mixed martial artist. This impressive feat that the sister shared only further highlights just how impressive the Shevchenko family is. Number 5. Her First Fight One of the most impressive and surprising things about Valentina happened very early on in her life. You wouldn't be surprised that she won her first fight via KO at just 12 years old. But what is amazing about this fact is that her opponent was 10 years older than Valentina. That is right, Valentina won her first fight at 12 against someone that was 22. We discussed why she got her nickname Bullet earlier, but it is rumored that this was the exact moment she earned her famous nickname. She was definitely not your average 12 year old and I am sure her family knew that she was going to be a special fighter someday. But somehow Valentina has surpassed all expectations and has become pound for pound one of the best in the world. What is even more impressive is that she is one of the best in the UFC, but she is considered one of the best Muay Thai fighters and kickboxers and would undoubtedly do well in either competition. Number 4. She is multilingual Valentina has lived and trained in various different parts of the world, so how many languages do you think she can speak? The answer is an impressive 3. She can speak Russian, Spanish, uh, he tanto duro para ese and English. Say thank you to my team. And has shown her fluency in the octagon as well. She picked up Russian through her family, Spanish during her time in Peru, which she is also a citizen of, and English during her fighting career in the United States. While not known for her trash talking, it still comes in handy being able to do it in three different languages. Speaking three languages is very impressive, but what is not surprising is that Valentina is not satisfied with just the three. She is also learning Thai as well, and I know it would not surprise anyone if she did not stop there. Number 3. Her Post-Fight Celebration You have probably seen Valentina perform her signature dance as a post-fight celebration, but you would be surprised to find out that it is called Les Ginka and is a traditional folk dance. It is not surprising that Valentina is very good at this particular dance considering it is very fast and dynamic, just like the talented fighter that she is. But you might have missed this celebration because she does not do it after every fight. But it is an exciting dance and one you should check out if you have not seen it. Number 2. Her Dance Moves Outside the Octagon Most of us know that Valentina is a Kyrgyzstani Peruvian fighter, but besides winning fights and titles, she has also competed in a dancing reality show in Peru. Now, while this is impressive in and of itself, what is even more impressive and surprising is that she has not only competed on the show, she actually won the competition. That is right, she not only shows off her dance moves in the octagon, but she also shows them off for a whole brand new audience. It seems like Valentina could have had a successful dancing career, but she hasn't done so badly for herself in the octagon either. And I know I speak for all UFC fans when I say we are lucky to watch her compete. We have gone through quite a few surprising facts about Valentina, but hey, we have saved the most surprising for last. Number 1. Her Success Outside the Octagon the moment we have been waiting for, here is the most surprising fact about Valentina Shevchenko. We know Valentina is a great fighter, and now you know she is also a great dancer. But did you know she has a love for movies and even received a degree in film? In fact, she was actually in the major movie Bruised with Halle Berry, where Valentina played the champion against an underdog contender. We hope that Valentina can compete at the highest level for a long time, but when she does decide to hang up the gloves, we will still see more of her on the big screen. Valentina has showed us that she is more than just one of the best fighters in the world, but that she is a complete person who is talented in a variety of things like dance, acting, and language. One of the most talented and unique fighters in the UFC that we are lucky to have witnessed one of the best to ever do it. And there you have it. We hope that you enjoyed this video and that you have learned a few things about one of the most talented mixed martial artists in the world today, Valentina Shevchenko. And if you enjoyed this video, you can support the channel by liking the video and subscribing to it. And don't forget to check out all of our other videos for all things MMA and UFC.